Shub show, Brendan said that he had heard from a reliable source that the UFC had offered Ronda Rousey a crash, uh, a contract. Like they maybe, you know, reached out to her and tried to gauge her temperature um, for a potential return to the UFC. And I guess he must have read it somewhere or it's a rumor around the UFC circles. And he commented it on the Shub show. And he said with some level of certainty, he kind of spoke like he knew exactly what was going on. And I guess because Ro um, Brendan used to go out with Ronda Rousey back in the day, right? They, were, they used to be boyfriend and girlfriend way back when. Um, let me see if I can actually find a p picture. Of them. I think there's a funny picture of them like on some safari somewhere. There was once a, there was once a time where Brendan and fucking Ronda we used, to be, used to be banging back in the day, right? That's them, back in the day. And then she moved up to Travis Brown. The sad thing about this relationship is that she went and hooked up with Travis Brown, immediately started a family. And then one of, I think, was, was Travis Brown Brendan's last fight in the UFC? Was that the last fight he had where Travis Brown smoked him like ground and pound to the back and started speaking to him on the mat? Was that his last fight? That is so fucking horrible, isn't it? What a bad way to go out. You then get knocked out by your ex-girlfriend's new boyfriend. <laughs> That's how you end your UFC career. The, the, the sport is a fucking brutal sport, isn't it? Fucking brutal sport. But yeah, that's, that's them, their relationship, right? As you can see there, bing, bang, boom. Yeah, they, there's a picture of them on, on a safari somewhere. I don't know where I saw it. Yeah, that's the one, right? Okay, it's not a safari. Maybe it's a river there. Okay, I, I'm i sorry. I put I put some um, I put some Brendan Schaub salt on the story. I, I spiced it up a little bit. I said safari. It looks like a lake. It's probably like a lake thing. <laughs> They're on the boat, on the ferry. But I called it a safari. <laughs> they, went on a saf they went to Utah for a safari. Oh, uh, anyway, <laughs> let's continue. Oh, wait. So there is a current event about Ron Rousey. So I guess someone asked Dana White again about Ronda Rousey. He's like, no, it's not happening for sure. Even though she's not in the WWE anymore, she won the championship. But then the person that wrote the article said, when's the last time has Dana, Dana ever, White ever lied about something like this before, about a big superstar coming back? Was he, and he was asking a serious question? No, no, the, the writer of the article said like- He was like, he, does he know the UFC? Is he saying, why would Dana lie to us? Has, he's never done this before. He's that's what Dana does. He's basically joking like, oh, gotcha. would he lie to us? Of course he would lie to us. I'll say this, I have on good authority Good authority. Uh -huh. They offered Ronda Rousey more money than you can imagine to come back, and she said no. Oh crap! So there were talks. It's not. It's not a. Yeah, and the, it's like uh, it's like the guy that can't get the hot girl. Like, dude, she's ugly. Okay, <laughs> that's what Dana. Dana's like, no, dude, we never offered her. We, we, she's not fighting. Uh, for, now maybe Dana didn't do the deal. I'm not saying Dana offered it. From what I know, they offered more money than God, and she's like, I'm good. She Ron is very smart. Has other businesses, her farms, her houses. Like she doesn't need to do any of it. She said no. Well, but, I, but I heard they offered her, her more money than God to come back and fight, and she said no. I mean, that would be massive if she if she actually came back. I think she beats Pena. <gasps> Damn, Chin took a gas. I did. Cherish that, dude. <laughs> so, what do you guys think? Who do you believe on this? I, I don't think it's with I don't think it's outside of reason to believe a scenario where the UFC would offer an old vet like Ronda Rousey who's still probably a big draw who's still going to be able to you know sell pay per views and stuff an opportunity to come back to the UFC they love that sort of shit right like it's one of those things the UFC would do they obviously wouldn't admit it but they definitely would do it so it, it it's not without the realm, it's not without, it's not outside the realms of reason that that could potentially happen it's just odd that he be the one to get that kind of information. You know what I mean? That's the strange thing about it. Why would Brendan know? You know, that's the only thing that's a bit weird about it because he's he's talking about it from a point of like certainty, like I have inside sources, but why do you have insights? Why would you have inside sources on that? You know what I mean? He really has inside sources on most things. Why would he suddenly have inside source on his ex-girlfriend who they both broke up and, you know, they broke up in not so good terms. They don't think highly of each other anymore these days. Why would he have inside information on her camp? Like that, you know? It's a bit odd. Yeah, everyone's commenting on the hat. Everyone everyone hates that hat. He loves that hat, <laughs> clearly. But everyone else hates it in the comments. I just don't get why he's wearing a hat with that outfit. Because that hat is more like a, I don't know, it's a bit of a hipster hat. It's a bit of a try-hard hat. But again, maybe a hat like that with a nice band tee on, a nice flannel, some skinny jeans and some cowboy boots might work. But he's wearing that hat with an Oklahoma jersey. I guess it's a baseball team. 
some jeans and probably dunks or something. It looks weird. Like nothing matches. Like nothing looks good. Nothing kind of flows. That top doesn't match the the hat. The top doesn't match the jeans. The jeans doesn't match the shoes. It's just all over the place. But I think if you would have wore it in a more of a quote unquote fashiony way, with some boots, um, some a good pair of jeans and a, and a nice flannel or a nice band shirt, I think it would have looked pretty good, personally. But that jersey thing with the hat is so bizarre. And also, why is he, guys in the chat, why is he wearing Oklahoma? I don't watch baseball, but is there, are Oklahoma currently winning or something? Are they doing something good? Let me just quickly check this, because he always, he always seems to, whenever he wears a jersey, it's always because they're in the news and they, did, and they won a match or something. Okay, what, Pia, so they, so they won a champion, okay, cool. World Series champions in 2020. Okay, cool. So that's why he's wearing the jersey then. We get it. We understand. So anyway, he's wearing a jersey. Long story short, um, Dana White replied to Brendan's comment, or kind of, to the rumours around it. And this is what Dana White had to say. So now you have to kind of ask yourself, who do you believe, right? In this story, who do you believe? Do you believe Brendan? Let's play his bit again one more time. Who do you believe in this story? Do you believe Brendan or do you believe Dana? Good authority. Mm -hmm. They offered Ronda Rousey more money than you can imagine to come back and she said no oh crap so there were talks it's not it's not a yeah and the, it's like uh it's like the guy that can't get the hot girl like dude she's ugly okay <laughs> that's what dana's dana's like no dude we never offered her we, we, she's not fighting uh, for, now maybe dana didn't do the deal i'm not saying dana offered it from what i know they offered more money than god and she's like i'm good she Ron is very smart. Has other businesses, her farms, her houses. Like she doesn't need to do any of it. She said no. But okay, that's what he said. And then Dana White's reply. You're in this screenshot. I think the Daily Mail had Ronda Rousey wanting to return for UFC 300. Had you seen that report? Is it something you'd welcome? Who reported that? Daily Mail, I think it was. I think it's been carried <laughs> elsewhere. <laughs> Are you fucking asking me a question? <laughs> that the Daily Mail posted something and you're asking me if it's true? Is that what you're I'm saying? I'm asking if it's true. I'm saying, would you welcome it? Would I welcome it? Yeah, Rhonda's having kids. Rhonda, you know, Rhonda built this whole thing that's going on with the women here. Then her dream was to go to the WWE. She went there and did everything she did there and achieved. She's made shitloads of money. She's moved on with her life. Stop reading the Daily Mail. Everything <laughs> they write is a crock of shit. Does that feel like he's talking to Brendan? Because in the beginning he said, "Who said that?" I think he heard Brendan said that also, but he it came from the that journalist said Daily Mail because they read it from there. Does it feel like a little bit he was talking to Brendan? I don't know why. Every time I hear him speak, I feel like he's sending little subliminals. Listen again. He said, "Who said that?" You know what I mean? Because he heard him say Daily Mail, but he wanted to see if he was going to say Brendan. Like, let's see. In this screenshot, I think the Daily Mail had Ronda Rousey wanting to return for UFC 300. Had you seen that report? Is it something you'd welcome? Who reported that? Daily Mail, I think it was. I think it's been... <laughs> yeah, Dana's so petty. He's such a piece of shit. He's so petty. He wanted the guy to say date Brendan so badly. <laughs> Who said that? Makes sense. You know what I mean? Bye. Mic drop. Makes sense. <laughs> <sighs> carried elsewhere <laughs> are you fucking asking me a question that the daily mail Brendan posted Schultz. something and you're asking me if it's true is that what you're I'm saying i'm asking if it's true i'm saying would you welcome it would i welcome it yeah ronda's having kids ronda you know ronda built this whole thing that's going on with the women here then her dream was to go to the wwe she went there and did everything she did there and achieved she's made shit loads of money she's moved on with her life Stop reading the Daily Mail. Everything they write is a crock of shit. So the only thing that's hard about this is that Dana lies often about fight stuff, rumors. He, he, he just basically doesn't like it when the press or the media get a hold of information before the UFC announces it. For obvious reasons, right? Because the UFC wants to announce stuff and let it be a secret. They want to build it up a little bit, let it be a surprise obviously get the most out of it in terms of eyes and pay-per-view buys and money and shit it makes sense why he gets defensive about it but he just he hates it when the media gets hold of information before he's able to reveal it and he often lies just in general because you know i guess it's part of the job you have to kind of keep your cars close to your chest so part of me thinks it's possible they could have offered dane uh run the contract it's not within it's not outside the realms of possibility but i just don't know if brendan's the best 
you know, person to kind of like list to, you know, believe because he also lies a lot, you know? You've got two guys who like, you've got one guy who lies because it's part of his job in Dana White as a promoter. You kind of have to always embellish and lie because, you know, you're trying to sell fights and shit. And then you've got one side in Brendan who's basically made a whole career and a livelihood out of faking it till you make it. So who do you believe? Like, you know what I mean? It's a hard one, you know? It's a hard one. <laughs> who do you believe? Oh, my guy's about to fight. Saint Denis versus Thiago Moses. Who do, you, who, who do you guys believe? Dana or Brendan? Other than the money, she's chilling, let her live. Exactly, Tashki, I believe that. When is Brendan not lying? Exactly true. Oh, yeah, Tashki, yeah. Pat Millichick, yeah, he's the dumbest motherfucker. Yeah, exactly true. Uh, since when was the UFC offered fighters tons of money anyway? Oh, shit. Low blow already bumped St. Denise. Fucking hell, St. Denise. Dana's a liar, but I don't think he offered Ronda any contract recently. Cool. But do you but do you think he would have he would have gave her a call? Do you think that's 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 sort of out of possibility? He might have gave her a ring. Like, hey, what are you doing now? I know you've left the UFC, the WWE, and you're having babies and shit. But if you're ever in a mood to come back to the women's division, come back. I don't think it's a smart idea to have to come back. I think she still gets smoked. I think the levels in women's UFC has gone up so considerably since she left the sport. I don't think it's smart for her to come back personally. I don't think obviously it'll be a good money earner, but I don't think it's a smart thing to, for her to come back personally. Don't 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 come back. She kind of left the UFC in a little bit of a cloud, anyway. If I'm mistaken, in it, she didn't really leave in the best of terms, anyway. Um, you know, she kind of ignored everybody and kind of went away and kind of sulked and shit after she lost. But I think skill wise, she she don't come back because you know she's a legend anyway, especially in the women's division. She shouldn't come back and get smoked again. That would be that that would hurt her, man. I don't want to. I don't want to see her get smoked again. She doesn't deserve that. Um, so let let her enjoy because I think she doesn't want to be in the in the limelight as much because she's kind of on her own tip. Let her enjoy her kind of anonymity, what she kind of has now, and live life instead of coming back and you know, yeah, she doesn't exactly. People saying yeah, she, the division doesn't need Ronda unless she takes an ambassador role. Exactly, she left the WWE banged up just months ago. I don't see what she, what he'd need her there. True, faded to obscurity. Exactly, Ronda would get destroyed by this level of UFC. Exactly, Josie. Yeah, she 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 shouldn't come back. I don't want her to come back. I don't want to see her get smoked. Like, I think legends like that deserve to, like, be remembered for their good times. It shouldn't be, you know, you shouldn't be getting... You should, I don't want to see Ronda be, you know, be fucking taken down at will by these newer fighters and be controlled on the ground and get choked out and shit, get knocked out. Like, no one wants to see that nowadays. Let, let's remember her for her good highlights and shit. But, um, I believe... Oh, my God. Again, two low blows from, from St. Denis. Fucking hell, man. I'm, I, I I really am the fucking Drake of UFC, aren't I? I fucking curse Saint Denise. He he might get DQ'd for this, you know. Like he, he's getting, he's kicked him twice in the nuts. He's kicked him Moises. Oh fucking no, that one was even lower. Jesus Christ. Okay, cool. Saint Denise is a chill man. He might get taken point off him, innit? I really am the Drake of this shit. I fucking curse Saint Denise. I'm sorry, man. Apologies, bro. Okay, anyway, let's continue. <laughs> I think I cursed St. Denise. He <laughs> two low blows back to back. Anyway, let's move on. Um, yeah. Dana knows what he's doing though, though. Dana knows what he's doing, innit? Dana knows what he's doing. Don't don't read the Daily Mail. It's a crock of shit. Like he knows what he's doing. That smile. He knows who he was talking about. He was talking about Brendan. <laughs> he knows what he was doing, man. That guy. He's so, so fucking petty. Um Another clip here. Uh, the, 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 yeah, the AZ effect. It's like this short. The AZ effect. Oh, fucking hell. Saint Denis. Stop pronouncing the S at the end of Saint. So it's, so it's Saint Denis. Oh, so it's Saint Denis, not Saint Denis. It's Saint Denis. Is that what you're trying to say, Space Guy? It's Saint Denis. It's driving me crazy. It's Saint Denis. Okay, cool. Saint Denis. My bad. My French is not the best. It's Saint Denis. Saint Denis. Okay. Saint Denis. Saint Denis. Saint Denis. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Je m'appelle. Je m'appelle. <laughs> bonjour. Bonjour. Oui, 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 oui. Ça va, ça va. Uh, okay, cool. <laughs> Benoit. Saint Denis. Benoit. Saint Denis. Bonjour. <laughs> Benna. Saint Denis. 
Oh, he got him in the body shot there. Oh, go on, son, then he, brother. He's backing him up to the cage. Oh, body shots are incredible. Grind and pound. Yeah, Sunday needs all action. That's why I like him. I don't know if you guys like, like the guy, but he's all action. It's head, it's, you know what I mean? It's body shots, it's kicks, it's grappling. Like, he's all action, bro. It's like, he, he reminds me of like a bigger version of Ilya Taporian. Like, he fights like a fucking, he comes through like a fucking Tasmanian devil, bro. He's all over you, man. Like, he's got his back now. Like, he's fucking so good. I'm a big fan of Sandini. I'm in that Sandini fucking, I'm in that Sandini fucking hive. Ooh, ankle. Uh oh, we got an ankle pick here. No, okay, yeah. Sandini's a fucking beast. I like him, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sean called him Shorb Denis. Yeah, Brendan wishes he was fucking at a level of of, of Benoit Sandini. <laughs> French lessons fun. We got space guy. French lesson fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's French lessons, man. Oh, <laughs> you guys, man. I swear to God. <sighs> French lessons, friend. Thank you so much, Bass Guy. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate ya. Appreciate you. Thank you. Oh, no. Merci, French Space Guy. Merci. Merci. Um, okay, cool. Let's move on.